inverse of a function. So when we are looking at inverse of a function, it's the opposite of the given function. When you're looking at inverse of a function, it is opposite of, of, a, given, of a given function. So as you can see there, so when we are looking at the inverse here, this is a backward application of the given function. E.g., function f maps a number n onto m, then the inverse function for this, it is the vice versa. It means start from the end to get the beginning. So inverse of a function has got the symbol, right? So if I have my function f, so to the inverse will have function with power negative one. And even if I have my function g, the inverse of g has power uh, minus one, right? So in order to find the inverse of a function, we have two methods. Method one, we use no more algebraic expressions, uh, equations. And two, we can use what we call flow diagram. Remember, flow diagram, you did it. And flow diagram, other people call it, uh, you call it function machine. Function machine, that's what we know as flow diagram. So function machine is what we call flow diagram. Okay, so let's start with algebra. We need to find inverse of this function using algebra. We need to find inverse of these functions using algebra. Okay, then next lesson we shall use a flow diagram. Okay, here we are. Find inverse of function f. All right, find inverse of function f. Remember, we are using algebra. And remember what algebra says. Function f, is always is equal to y. That's where we started from at the beginning. So replace the step one, replace fx with this function. So we shall get 2x squared plus 1 is equal to y. That's step one. We have replaced fx with y. Step two, exchange x and y. Step two, exchange x and y. So we shall get 2y squared plus one is equal to x. That's step two, we have exchanged x and y. Step three, make y the subject. Step three, make y the subject. Okay, so two y square is equal to x minus one. Then over two, over two. So now I have y square is equal to x minus one over two. So square root, square root. So Therefore, now my inverse of x is square root x minus one over two. That's what we do by algebra, find inverse of a function. Now let's find the inverse of g. So always we say the function gx is always equal to y. That's our starting point. Then remove gx and keep what gx is, and the gx is x minus five over two is equal to y. Very good, that's step two. Step three, exchange x and y. So on the place of x, keep y. And on the place of y, keep x. Next step, make y the subject. Make y the subject, All right? So to remove square root, you have to square both sides. So we get y minus five over two is equal to x squared. Now you have to multiply both sides by two to remove this two, you know? So now I have y minus five is equal to two x squared. Now I have to take five this side. So I have y is equal to two x squared plus five. So that is how we get the inverse of this question G. So the inverse will be so using algebra, this is how we find inverse of a function. This is how we find inverse of a function.